Holy crap! Janet? Janet, are you okay? My gosh, dude. Well, guys, I just went to get grab a quick lunch. Right now, we got an employee out running acres on the uh, S690. We just got to keep knocking down this corn because uh, we have a lot of corn. We have a lot of crops. We have a lot of beans. We have a lot of wheat to get done. Uh, so right now, and I need to get out there with the grain cart to catch them so they don't fill up. Buddy, you going to be a good boy now? Okay feed buddy because i forgot to feed him this morning and then we got to get going i'm gonna jump with that 450 jump out there but last night it did even though things look a little dry around here they get a little wet they get a little soft so we're having a couple issues with sx9 we're hitting a couple rough batches where she is getting soft and she is sliding and she is slipping ah uh, so the one thing is 8rt or 8970 may be our uh, go-to today if we get a little slimy by the way i just installed security cameras on the house because i had a random car just pull up the other night sketchy as heck so as you can see we got a camera there and we got a couple secret cameras around the house just be careful watch it in iowa we had a robbery i don't want that same thing to happen again the one sketchy thing about this driveway you know it's cool when you're driving into it but when you're reversing down a windy driveway with a dually it's kind of tough so what i need to do sometime to make a nice lane for me to back up into some some spot that i can just turn around in like this pretty much not drive over my grass so this is 180 acres here we probably got uh, yesterday we probably got like 60 40 40 acres knocked out we really didn't get that much knocked out and so we're going we're going we're going we're going and the combine did not make it okay i'm gonna go hop in the 8130 unload the combine for some reason 8130s warmed up. We're gonna go unload into this. Now, our semi, I don't know, the trailer on it has just been wacky. And so Austin yesterday when he was helping me out a little bit, he brought over his semi. And that seemed that's don't don't get me wrong, that seemed to work out great. It worked out too great to where I asked Austin if, hey, could I just borrow that semi in your grain trailer? So right now we're using Austin's semi and grain trailer to get things done right now. Here we go, we're unloading. Once we get close to empty, we'll keep rolling with the new employee. Look at that. Hold on, we need to take an Instagram pic for the squad Instagram. Right there. Yeah. Gosh darn it. Janet, you spilling. Looks beautiful. So I'm gonna sit right here for my calculations. By the time Janet gets back here, she'll be about, I don't know, about 80% full, kind of right around this area. Then we'll unload all the way to the end. And then I'll dump in the semi, run back. Never mind, I'm an absolute idiot. We can't unload <laughs> going this way. She did radio to me that it is getting a little muddy out there. Uh, especially throughout here, you can see in the soil. She is, uh, it's a little muddy. She's gonna start rutting pretty soon. Yeah, we're starting to have some issues. Especially when we're turning here. This end specifically just seems kind of bad. It's a little, it's a little slimy down here. But when you look at as far as as far as flatness or, or, or steepness or, or terrain grade, this field is pretty flat. But we just always seem to have tile issues around this area of the field. So I gotta be we gotta be careful here. And I'm gonna stay out of the mud and run down and catch a combine because Janet said she's about full. So we're gonna load here and keep going. Oh gosh, she's flashing at me. We gotta catch her. There we go. We're loading. We got a full grain cart. We're going to run back down across the field, unloading that semi, drop the corn off, and that semi is going to be full. And we got to make it back in time to unload Jane on the next round. Flossing, baby. <laughs> unloading the front. The front hopper's full. So we're going to fill this front hopper of this hopper, the secondary front hopper, if that makes any sense, because there's, there's, there's a, there's a, a liner that's split that's split right between this back hopper here so we're gonna fill the front then fill the back and then keep going okay front hopper is full now we're filling the back hopper of the back hopper hopefully that makes sense the fourth hopper yeah we can divide this into four so there's one front hopper and that actually that second hopper right there look you can see we need more grain yet We've emptied, and now we're gonna load Janet right here. I gotta be careful though, cause it is muddy in some of these areas. It looks like she didn't have too much, too rough a time turning around here, which is nice. Uh, it's probably fifth or sixth row over. There we go. We'll pull up. Janet's coming out, and there we go. We're unloading. It's just a beautiful sight right there. Look at that. Okay, she's empty. I'm gonna run back to the semi and then probably hop in that semi and go and load it at the bins. 
You know, we had just we had a Ford L9000 just like this. Holy crap! We have to clear some space around here to get semi to get trucks through here. But uh, I really like these Ford L9000s we have. Austin, now I'm gonna be honest. When I'm driving this, even though we're not going far, it does feel a bit underpowered through here. Like this thing is holy crap. She is underpowered through here as I work my way through here. Like we are, we got a lot of grain on here, and man, she's struggling a bit. So I'm going to pull through here, and we're going to unload, and then head back out to the field, because Chan's going to be waiting for me. We got about 2,000 bushels on here. My gosh. Okay, she's dumping. That's empty. I think the back hoppers, I got to empty yet. We're empty. I'm going to head back out to the field and get going. Holy crap. Janet? Janet, are you okay? My gosh, dude. I leave for a second. And my combine is trying to dig itself a grave. Gosh darn it, dude. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to pull the semi around and check out the situation, assess the situation, make sure Jane is okay, and then we'll go from there. My gosh, you guys are in for a treat. Okay, what's going to happen here? Is that? That's Austin. Wait a sec. Aston! Aston! Hey, what you doing, man? What in the heck you got going on here? Yeah, that was, uh, it's, I know it doesn't seem like it, but yeah, that was, oh my gosh. Oh, sheesh, hold on. There we go. Move it, sister. Uh, this, uh, I hired a new employee, Jana, and she got the combine stock, I think. I haven't even ass assessed out the situation, but. See, this is why I run the combine. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, she just went on lunch break. She's all good. Uh, I just told her, go on lunch break. I'll let me look at this. I'll get it figured out, but while you're here. You know how I drive a lot of my equipment. Could I have you help yeah. me pull this out, man? Yeah, I can give him my best shot. Okay. I think what we're going to need is 8RT, maybe 8970. I don't know. 8970 or 8RT. What are you thinking? Uh, it's your I choice. It's your... up to you, man. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I got to take a look at it. Here, pull on over by the combine. We'll take a look at it All if right. you got a couple minutes. Oh, this is gonna be bad. The 716C is buried. That thing, there's... Dude, check this out. This thing is sunk. Yeah, the uh, the header is buried. So we're gonna have to probably drop that. Otherwise, it's just gonna cause more drag. So we'll drop the header. Holy crap, the tires. These are 42-inch tires. And it's they halfway up there. My gosh, that's two feet. Man. Okay, that's stuck in. Good night, man. Oh, we, this is not good. The only thing is, is she was loaded down with corn. And it was kind of my fault because I was running behind. And she was fully loaded down. So we're going to have to empty out. Okay, so I'm thinking drop the header. Then empty out as much corn as possible. We'll get the weight off. We'll pull the grain cart around. And then... Well, don't get the grain cart stuck. I know. That's the one thing I got to be careful of. And then the 8970 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but I think it's it's just the front end. So as long as we can get the as long as we can get the chain on here, we should be good. Yeah, yeah, that's an aftermarket. The only thing is, this is an aftermarket hitch on here, and we didn't. It's not really made to be pulled from. So maybe we'll have to. I don't know. We'll pull from it now. I guess it's it's probably fine. But it's more just to pull the header. It's not really to get pulled out by. But yeah. I don't know. It's fine. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna go jump with 8130. Let's get this weight off first without getting this grain cart stuck. And then, uh, yep. and then we'll go from there, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. If you want to hop in that 690, I'll pull over. All right. Okay. Right now, the 8970 is hooked up to the disc. So, I think what we're going to... Actually, the 8RT, I think, is... Yeah, let me open the garage door. The 8RT is hooked up to the planter. Honestly, I think the 8970 is our best bet. So, what I'm going to do is drop the disc off. I know we got, it kind of sucks just dropping it. I'm just going to drop it right here. We'll eventually hook up to it later. It's not that much. Pull out the hydraulic, the, the hydraulic hoses, and then uh, detach the draw bar, and we should be good to go. Now, the one thing is I need our chain, which I think is over here. I'm just going to back up to the shop door and just tie her around the hitch, and maybe I'll try to keep her on here so we don't drag it, but it's, it's probably fine if we drag it. Okay, chain or winch shall do. This is a pretty heavy-duty winch. Now, if she's really stuck, I don't know if this is going to work or not. But if we break it, we break it. Or we could just go chain. Chain's right there. Let's just go chain. 
That way I know it's not going to break. Oh, somebody got the chain stuck down the gutter outlet. Look at that. <laughs> Should we hook her up to the 8970 and then rip her out? Uh, probably not a good idea. Okay, we're going to go winch. This may break. If it breaks, we're going to have to butt. I, I just don't have time right now to bust that open. Okay, winch is on the 8970. I'm going to go over to Austin. And we're going to get this hooked up. And then we still got to get that green card out. That's one thing I didn't do. I was just like, let's get the 8970. Let's make sure we have a winch. And then let's make sure at least we have a chain or something. But we got a winch. We're good. Marco. Okay, there's Austin. It looks like he's up in the tank there. Checking conditions out. He climbed up there. So I'm going to pull around. And man, I need as much traction as possible so i think what's going to go on is i'm going to pull right around here here we'll kind of pull from this angle because if anything the wet spot seems to be over over kind of towards his truck his dodge kelman's over there so i'm gonna pull out on this angle over here and i don't know that's probably good i don't want to bury this thing okay austin i can't see you um all right you're on the radio though okay yep just uh let's go just start pulling. Just give me a little yank. I'll feel the yank, and I'll just give her a little gas. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're good. Got Sweet. Her. We're good. <laughs> we didn't even have to unload the grain. I know it was probably a stupid idea because it put a lot of pressure, but it worked. Okay. You're going to unhook her? Yep. Perfect. Okay. I'm good. You, If you want... You can, uh, you can go. We're just harvesting here. We should be good. As long as Janet doesn't get this thing stuck again. My gosh, dude. Look at the ruts. Well, you're going to have to fill in this hole, dude. Look at this thing. <laughs> dude. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is crazy. She must have been spinning in there for a while yeah. to create this big of a mess. Yeah, dude. I'm surprised dude. your combine's not that dirty. I know. I didn't. The one thing is I should have just told her to, like, to... to just once you get stuck, it's fine. We can pull you out. You don't. I think what she did, she got kind of scared, and she just throttled out there. She didn't want to get that thing. That she didn't want me to know. She got it stuck, and then she, she kept spin, 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 digger, and she dug a bigger hole, and then now we finally got her, got her pulled out. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll let you get back to it. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, man. Yep. No problem. Okay, so I'm going to run the 8970 back. Actually, you know what? Just in case it gets stuck, we're just going to keep the 8970 here. I would, before the end of the day, like to just run the disc over that big rut hole because the ground is somewhat soft now. As long as I don't get that thing buried again, that way when it does go to harden, it's it's kind of easy to fill in. Heck, we might even have to get a skid loader to just fill that in. My gosh, that's kind of a mess. For now, the 8970 is going over here. Uh, we need to unload that combine, so I'm going to... I'll probably just drive the combine over the semi. That could have been bad, though. That could have been bad. We should have been a little smarter about trying to unload the combine before because we did have a lot of weight on. And then maybe the thing is, if you drop the head, that's going to take like an hour to yank, drag that head out of there. It's going to get dirt up in it. The way we pulled it out, luckily, pulled out pretty easy. It wasn't too bad. And there goes Austin. Okay, I'm loading up the hoppers and then we're going to get combined. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end. I know we didn't get too much done today. We got her stuck. We got her buried. It's just going to be maybe a live stream again as we keep knocking out this cornfield because we got beans that, that need to go. We got wheat that needs to go. We got a couple. We got one more cornfield, another 80 acres that has to go yet. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. And hey, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys.